they're extremely lucky. Could have had a totally different outcome. Firefighters on the Treasure Coast make a life-saving discovery. Crews responding to a fall at a home in Port St. Lucie were instead alerted to dangerous levels of carbon monoxide. It's a story you'll only see right here on WPBF 25. Our Andrew Rozier live in Fort Pierce with a look at how rescue crews got those people to safety. Angela? Todd and Tiffany, uh, crews I talked to today, they hope that this story will remind everyone that those detectors are important. And today we found out just how they can make a difference. That sound you hear is coming from a carbon monoxide detector. It's something rescue crews with the St. Lucie County Fire District don't leave the station without. Tuesday morning, that piece of equipment helped save lives. We don't like hearing the stories where a family is found and it's too late. But in this case, you know, luckily, that's not how it ended. Shortly after 8.30 a.m., Rescue 2 here on Hutchison Island responded to a call about a fall at a home just off of A1A. When they arrived on scene to help the patient, their carbon monoxide detector started beeping. So on this particular call, when they went in, the meters went off the chain, so they were well exceeding those parameters. People inside the home were evacuated, and crews started searching for the source. And when I got to the garage, I noticed that there was a car parked in the garage, and it was still on. The door was down. After talking to uh, one of the residents, we determined that it had been running since about 7 o'clock last night. The CO detectors are also attached to the cardiac monitors on all rescue trucks. Approximately three years ago, our operations committee um, brought these on board. So we have them on our rescue trucks, on every Zoll monitor, and then on the engineer's uh, radio belt. We go on our regular calls every day, and it's, it's, it's very satisfying helping the community, mm -hmm. being able to, to see the change you make in patients' lives. But when something like this happens, you know, and it's something that your department has bought a piece of equipment and you haven't seen it used, and all of a sudden you see it working, that's, that's pretty neat.